Hey everybody, it's Malik here. Uh, we're going to go ahead, I want to go ahead and knock out one of these tonight here. Um, we are doing the realistic missions from uh, Hack This Site. So, we did, we've done the uh, Uncle, Dor Uncle Arnold's local band review and the Chicago American Nazi Party. Now let's take a look at Peace Poetry Hacked. So the story here, a little girl made a website to post poetry related to peace and understanding. American fascists have hacked this website, replacing it with Hitler-esque propaganda. Can you repair it? So let's take that challenge. So here's a message from her. I run the website where people can read and submit peace-related poetry. I'm doing this out of the goodwill towards others. I don't see why I'm making enemies out of this. But some realize I'll hack my web posting a bunch of ignorant, aggressive propaganda on the front page. Made the website a while ago. No longer have access to it. Do you think you can hack in and change it back? And bonus points if you message me the name of the pastor who did this. All right, so here's her website. So here we go. This is not her peace poetry stuff. So there we go. There's the name. That stuff's not even hidden. It's saying script kitties. But how do we repair her page back? Well, we don't really have a lot to go on. So we really just have to take this step by step. So Again, one thing that you, you'll need to know to, to complete this mission is basic HTML and folder structure and what actually happens when data is, when information is posted to a server. So Let's go a little bit into this and I'll give you a break to kind of see if you can figure some things out. Let's take a look at the, the source. So here's the page source up here and it's all in one very long line. So this is the page that we're looking at right now. Sales spacing, blah, blah, blah. This page has been haxered. There's the size, God bless the United States, yada, 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 all the pictures, etc., etc. Nothing really hidden up here at the top that you don't see on the page. Okay, this is the very bottom of the page. And saying, Script Kitty, Shall Sultra Death Laser, Master of Disaster, and Dr. Doom. But, this isn't all the information. It's very easy to miss, but you need to scroll down. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom, there is a line that says, Note to the webmaster, this website has been hacked, but not totally destroyed. The old website is still up. I simply copied the old index.html file, which was her main page, to old index dot html and remade this one sorry about the inconvenience okay so if we just go up here to the top because the page we're looking at is index dot html her page which used to be index dot html is now known as old index dot html so this is her page. And she's got, you know, two uh two links here, one for reading poetry. And there's her poems. And again, nothing really special here, you know, if we if we view the page source. Yeah. There's the poem. So, nothing real interesting there. Okay, now let's take a look at the submit page. Well, this is where we put the name of our poem. This is where 
our poem where we put our poem at, and it says poems will be stored stored online immediately, but will not be listed on the main poetry page until it has a chance to be looked at. Okay, and again, if we if we view the source of this page, not a not a huge amount of stuff here, but let's go ahead and zoom in just so you can see some of it. Okay, here's the action to the button. This is submit poems. Method is post and the name of the poem. Okay. And the value is just add poem. So what we have to understand is what happens when you type something in here and you submit it. Now it really depends on if the page is written correctly or not. But this page is not clean at all. Most pages won't allow this. You know, they have some sort of sanitation and validation on it. But what we want to do, what we have to figure out how to do, is how do we get this code, the code that drew this page, from old index into a file called index. HTML. I'm going to do. I'm going to help you do one part, and I'm going to let you think about the other part. What if we just view the page source of this page, and we copy all of it? So we select it all, and we copy it. And we go into submit poetry and we paste it. Alright, so this is the code that actually makes her index page. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to save that. We know it's going to save it to the server, but See, we're in a different subfolder here. The, the, the poems are actually saved in a different folder. Now it's going to save it with the name that we told it to, to save it. It's going to be under a poetry folder. Um, but remember when we took a look at the code, it... Oh, i got to be on the other page for that. When we took a look at the code of this page, in fact, I can go ahead and show it to you again. Uh, here we go. See, it's going to name it whatever we tell it the name is going to be. Now, it does say the type is text, but that's not a big deal. Okay. So, what should we type inside of this box to save this page? as index. Well, if you're thinking this, you're very well there, but you're missing one thing. If you remember, we did this back in the basic missions. Uh, actually, mission number nine, I believe it was. Not the exact same thing, but the same concept. I have to do a little bit of directory transversal. Actually, it's almost exactly the same as mission number eight. We're in a level higher than where we want to save this page. So we need to back up a level. How do we back up a level and save this page as index? So I'm going to give you a little break here, and remember it's called index.html. The, the, the hackers told us that was the name of the file. So how do we back up one folder and save this file as index.html? So I'll give you a second to, to play with that. Okay, so we need to back up a folder 
and save this file. So rem remember that. That tells us to back up one folder. index.html and we're going to add our poem. And you should get your little go on button. Now it does mention, I do want to point out, it does me mention uh, in Realistic 3 uh, bonus points if you message me the name of the passage who did this. I really truthfully have no idea how to do that or if it can even be done. Uh, I mean, we know it's from Peace Poetry uh, but I, unless I'm looking over it, I see nowhere, of course, no way to message or, or send or anything. I don't know if it's something to put on the page or if that's even possible to do. Um, I've never tried to do it. Um, but anyway, so we got through that one. And again, it's just understanding basic HTML structure and what happens when you post something in a form. It, it goes to the server and it is saved on the server and if they give you the option to name it it is saved at whatever name you want so her page was actually pretty easy to hack into getting asking the person the name and being able to post whatever you want it to inside of the form so an incredibly open site okay so that's that one uh, let's see, tomorrow we will get into hitting uh, uh, Fishner's Animal Products. Slaughters animals, turns their skin into overpriced products, which are sold to rich pastors. Helps the rights activists increase political awareness by hacking their mailing lists. So, this one is, is, a, little, is a little tricky. Um, not so much more than this one. Uh, but we'll be able to do it together. Alright, so again, if you like the videos, please give them a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, let me know what you think about them, and uh, I'll continue to go through these. We'll, we'll knock through these things and we'll, we'll just kind of see where we go from there. Alright, so uh, until then, it's Malik out, and you have a great night.